Well, hey guys, welcome back to Ken Folk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, I had something I was going to video today. I'm still going to video it, but uh, things have changed. Came up here to feed Al. I was going to show you some stuff in the Muscadine Vineyard and show you some stuff about the chickens. But I think I'll put that towards the tail end. Right now, uh, I'd headed up here to feed the pigs because I didn't get to feed them last night. It was raining, I mean storming, all through the night and uh, all this morning. It's about 2 o'clock, March 10th. And uh, I heard something different in the other pig pen, which I assumed was piglets. And thank goodness I was right. We got some piglets. I hadn't even went to see them yet. I went back to get my camera, and I wanted to video them as I see them. <laughs> first time i don't know how many we got i don't know if she's having them now or uh or what like i say i just fed those guys went back and got my camera real quick so we'll walk over here and see what we got we've been moving kind of slow around here all week we have been getting over a cold that is about to wipe us out peek, peek, peek. we've been getting over a cold that's just about to wipe us out we are done with being sick. My wife really had it bad. <laughs> She's in the pen by herself. She's over here in the woods. I don't think she's allowed in the, in the hut. Let's see if she'll let us get close. made her a hole over here. Look how big she is, she's huge. And they done swamped this thing out from all the rain last night. I see one not moving, looks dead. Well, she may still be having them. Oh my gosh, they're dead everywhere. Well, Guys, I'm on. I'm gonna finish this video. God dang it! I had to stop. I had to stop videoing uh, because all the piglets are dead. They're all over there dead. There's I counted 11. There's one that looks like it's doing okay, and then there's another one that's up into the pen. It's up in the hood. It looks like it's breathing. And I was wanting to get it down there with, by the mom, but she's all upset. She charged me. And, of course, I can't move around in the mud. I get stuck. Uh, so she got right at me. I thought she was going to bite me. But uh, she went back in the hut. And um, it's just a big thing, man. This, this, And for you guys that don't know, <laughs> I'm a trucker. And I have quite the trucker mouth that I don't let show on my videos because my grandbabies watch all my videos and I know I've tried to keep it a good kid friendly channel. Dang, but it was, it was some trucker talk going on. I, I'm, I'm so mad. I had hay over there. I had hay over there, <laughs> but apparently not enough. We had rains come in yesterday while I was work. It, work, it rained all day yesterday huge rains all last night up till about one about noon to one this afternoon so once it cleared up i came up and of course all of them are cold uh drown out I, I brought a stick up where i could try to get the dead ones out i can't even get up in there i'm gonna try to it's got a stick it's got a hook on it i used to use for trapping beavers and stuff getting my traps out of the river i'm gonna try to use it for Getting her out. I'll take the camera over there and y'all can watch and see what she does if she charges me or whatever. I'm really disappointed. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I should have been on my game. Of course, I was in here feeding them every day. Every day I come in and feed them, I look and I go, oh, that hay looks great. They got piled. They had pushed it up in a big pile like a nest. Uh, she had really fixed it all up. But all that rain apparently washed down the hill, washes into the, I don't know. But I got to get in here and look around. I, I hate to bother her, but I don't see the one. Like I say, she may be laying on the one. I don't see any of them nursing. Like I say, there's 11 that didn't make it. There's just dead piglets everywhere. 
I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go in and scrape him out and hopefully she'll get up and I can see the other one. Let, let's see what happens. Dang it. Well, I thought first I would go in there and feed the other pig so she doesn't get to bothering me or making a bunch of noise. I do see that there's one nursing. So that's good. I'm gonna try my hardest not to disturb her much as I try to get the piglets out. Then we're gonna add uh, this hay. We're gonna put a bunch of hay in there. and I don't know. <laughs> See what happens. I'd like to keep whatever's alive, alive. Good Lord. Let's go see what, how this turns out. But you can tell when I get close, she really starts to grunting. She gets to grunting, making a lot of noise. I'm gonna try to keep her laying down while the one's nursing. She can't help but squish and squash all in here. Yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And you can sort of see that. Oh Lord, yeah, okay. <laughs> I zoomed in like crazy. Yeah, there's the one that's nursing, which I don't want to show you. Watch out, Mom. Uh -oh. Go eat. Go eat. Go eat. Well, I don't want to show you all the babies all up close. I don't know if that's good for YouTube or not, but I got them on the roof. There's a pile of them everywhere. The one at her nose is the one I thought might could make it. We'll see if we can get it moved around a little bit. Well, there's three in there that I'm they're just cold. They, they, I don't want to say they'll make it. One looking okay. I'm almost bless it, man. Makes me sick. Makes me sick. Makes me sick because they don't. It's not like she's wanting to scoop them up and put them together. They're just freaking stupid pigs. Lay down, girl. And boy, I'm going to tell you, overnight, them milk ducks <laughs> took off overnight. Oh, there she goes. She's trying to root some around. All right, when she lays back down one more time, I'm gonna try to wither that hay in there. I got all the dead piglets out. When she lays back down, I'm gonna try to get a, I'm gonna put a whole big bale right there where she's at cut string and just shove it over. I guess, I don't, I don't know. This is only the third time we've had piglets and the first times we had them over there, it went pretty smooth. Uh, we had to end up pulling one out, but. She is just, she is looking everywhere. The pigs can't see all that well. She is looking everywhere for something to run after, run at. And she can't warm them up. And it's getting, that's another thing, is the temperature's supposed to drop down to about 39 tonight. So we're gonna get a bale of hay and see what that does. See if that, I'll try to keep the camera over here or something. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at that. I mean, she's just grabbing that hay and dragging it in. She knows what she needs. Dang it. I thought she about got me there for a second. You try to get away and you get stuck. And the thing is, all three of them are spread out. There's one at the back of the hut, one right there in that little middle section, and one right at her head at the front. They're all just spread out laying on the ground. Dang it. I'm praying that they, that those three will make it. She'll get on her game and drag them in. Hopefully they'll get on their feet. She's a monster though. I mean, she's, on, she's 400 pounds. Yeah, don't think 400 pounds is not fast. They are lightning fast. When I come out here to feed them, they'll be on the other side of the pen and they will be over here before I get here. I mean, they are, they're way faster than me. And especially you can't get out of the mud. When she came at me just then, I couldn't, I couldn't move. You just got to freeze and hope for the best. <laughs> God dang it. I'm going to throw one more bale out there. I'm scared I'm going to cover them up. Now I got that going. I'm scared I'm going to cover them up and she may step on them. But the piglets are tough. They're tough. They get stepped on all the time, but dang it. Yeah, I always hoped I never had to make a video like that. And I didn't want to make a video. I started not to <coughs> just because I didn't want to be one of those people that put out a video just to get out some content. So I cut it off earlier and I, I debated on it and I was like, you know what? This is tr <laughs> true farming, I guess. This is our first time we've dealt with any bad death like that on our farm, like this on our farm. And it's really heartbreaking to me uh, because I don't like to breed my pigs, but once a year, I try not to breed them, but once a year. And, uh, and another thing is I was wanting to sell the piglets. <laughs> so it's a thousand dollars laying over there dead. That's another thing. One, me and my wife joke all the time. We never hit the lottery. We never get a break. We scratch and dig for everything we own. I joke about how I've been working on these muscadines for three years now, and the day, the, a week before we open, there'll be some plague come in and kill them all off or something. Where uh, <laughs> I don't make any money on my muscadines. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it's going to happen. God dang it. But anyway, I, I think I may. I'm gonna take another bale over there, bust it, sprinkle a little around, and it'll be there if she wants it. How about that? Well, I'm gonna leave them alone before she ends up getting me. <laughs> I keep getting stuck in there. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out my video. I, like I say, I truly wasn't going to make a video. I was expecting, I was over there feeding Al and the girls, and I, I heard something over there looked different, and I seen a little piglet moving around. So I went back to the house, told Kim, hey, we got piglets. She's at work. She's in the house working. Uh, so I grabbed my camera, come back up. I was going to make a nice, happy piglet video. <laughs> and dang, it didn't work out. So I didn't even count how many piglets. I counted earlier, and I, I, I think I counted 11. I'm not sure, but uh, three are in there still. They're crying. Uh, there's one right at her head, one underneath the hay, thank goodness. One right underneath the hay, and I uh, had a gnat just flying by, and then one at her feet. And she's too tired to get in there and adjust anything. She's just over there resting. She must have just had them this morning. And uh, dang it, I kick myself. I feel like it's all my fault you know <laughs> i mean i can't control the weather it rained all day yesterday super storms last night big heavy storm. we had woke up to heavy thunder and lightning storms this morning uh just terrible weather to be having piglets in and the hill rolls down like this i don't know if y'all can tell but the hill the water all runs down the hill that's why it's always swampy down on this end and apparently it gets underneath the, the little hut I had straw in there, but my thinking is I didn't have enough. That's where I'm trying to get with all this. Is I, I'm kicking myself because I feel like I don't have enough, I didn't have enough straw in there. But I would check it every day, and I would look and go, "Oh, there's plenty of straw in there. She's making a nest, and she's getting ready." And I could see it happening. But apparently, when the water came in and her tromping around, and of course her moving around all night, trying to have them baby, it must have just made a huge mud mess in there. I guess. And I'm just kicking myself. I feel like it's all my fault that I lost all my piglets. 
<sighs> so, <clears throat> I really hate that. And like I say again, I didn't want to make a video. I was wanting to make a super happy video of us having some piglets, but it didn't quite work out. Anyway, love you guys to death. I really appreciate y'all checking out my video. I will definitely keep you posted on the three piglets. It ain't looking good. I'll tell you that now. It's, it's really not looking good. But uh, I'm going to go gather these little piglets up real quick. So I appreciate you guys checking out my video. We'll see you on the next one.